Ladies and gentlemen, the NFL world is going crazy right now with multiple trades happening on this random ass Tuesday today. We have Devontae Adams being traded from the Raiders to the New York Jets, Amari Cooper getting traded from the Cleveland Browns to the Buffalo Bills, and running back Cam Akers gets traded to the Minnesota Vikings from the Houston Texans. And now we have Hassan Raddick being able to seek out another trade from the Jets. And now Jets wide receiver Mike Williams is available for trade after just signing with the Jets this offseason. You're probably seeing this on Wednesday morning. I couldn't do anything. Wanted to get these videos out Tuesday, but got busy. We got a lot going on though in the NFL right now, and it's not even the trade deadline yet. Why don't we take a look at what transpired on Tuesday? Big news to share with you guys today. I'm excited to be partnering up with Autograph, a company co-founded by NFL legend Tom Brady. Autograph is the best place to find the latest coverage of your favorite team, whether it's the NFL or NBA or MLB. Autograph has it all. They have articles, blogs, podcasts, literally everything that you could ever need as a fan on their app. On top of that, they reward you for viewing content of your favorite team, stuff that you are already going to do. For example, me, I can listen to a Saints podcast anywhere, YouTube, Google, Spotify, Apple, literally anywhere. But if you listen or watch the podcast on Autograph, you get coins. And in the app, you can use those coins to redeem rewards, such as free, no fee tickets, memorabilia and merchandise, and one of a kind experiences. I'll also be uploading my content up there as well, so you can also watch my videos up there and get rewarded for doing so. All you have to do is download the Autograph app, which is free by the way, and use my referral code CASH, or you can just click my referral link down in the description. Again, use my referral code CASH, it'll help me and the channel out a lot. And if you want to help support me and the channel in any other ways, you can just click my link tree down in the description, there's lots of options for you there as well. All right, thanks for tuning in. Let's get back to the video. Why don't we start off with Devontae Adams and him getting traded to the New York Jets from the Las Vegas Raiders. Adams not that long ago requested a trade from the Raiders because they weren't winning and he felt like his talents were not being used to the best ability and he wants to win a championship before he retires. And given the fact that he's 30 years old, his time in the NFL is becoming shorter and shorter every single day. So he wanted to go to a team where he felt he could win a championship. And it was also in the Raiders' best interest. They're kind of a rebuilding team. No point in keeping a superstar receiver like Devontae Adams on the team. Now, when Adams requested this trade, it was reported that the Raiders would want a second round pick in return for the star wide receiver. Which to me was a huge asking price for a 30 year old wide receiver who's making a shit ton of money. Now, two teams were at the top of Devontae Adams' wish list of where he wanted to get traded after he requested the trade. The first one being the New York Jets, given the fact that he played with Aaron Rodgers, their team that's trying to compete for a championship and make the playoffs. That obviously made sense. He's familiar with the quarterback and Nathaniel Hackett. On top of that, the other team was the New Orleans Saints. He originally requested a trade to the Raiders to play with quarterback Derek Carr, who is the starting quarterback of the New Orleans Saints, who's currently injured at the moment. Keith Williams, his favorite coach maybe ever, was also a wide receiver coach on the Saints. There were reasons for Adams to want to go to both the Jets and the Saints. But there are also other teams interested in Devontae Adams, like the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens, but those teams were not teams that Devontae Adam wanted to go to. And after weeks of negotiations not really going anywhere between the Raiders and other teams, trade talks started to die down a little bit. Not because the interest wasn't there, but because the Jets fired head coach Robert Sala, and obviously that slowed down trade talks for the Jets a little bit. And for the Saints, Derek Carr got injured versus the Kansas City Chiefs and you would have thought that would have slowed down the Saints being aggressive for Adams if that actually didn't. But I'm sure that changed Adams' mind about whether or not he wanted to go to the Saints. But after losing to the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football, the New York Jets pulled the trigger and made the trade for Devontae Adams. The Jets sent the Raiders a third round pick that can become a second round pick, so a conditional pick. 
And the reason why it wasn't a guaranteed second round pick was because the New York Jets picked up all of Devontae Adams' salary. Now, is this a good or a bad move? If I'm the Jets, the Jets are going all in. They traded for Aaron Rodgers. They made multiple trades, multiple signings. They would need to win a championship and they're trying to win a Super Bowl right now. They're sitting at two and four and they may feel like they might be a Devontae Adams away from being a contender. I don't think that's the case. I think there's more issues with the Jets more than just the wide receiver. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is playing how you want. I don't think the offensive line is where you need it to be. You can't run the ball effectively and the offensive system you're running isn't the best. But on another note, getting Devontae Adams opened things up for Garrett Wilson and other players on the Jets to get more opportunities, more one-on-one -on -one matchups. It makes life easier for other players on the Jets and Aaron Rodgers especially now he has a guy who he can trust, he has chemistry with already, he doesn't need to build anything. The two already have a connection there. Now if you're Devontae Adams, is this really a win? You wanted to leave the Raiders and requested a trade from the 2-4 and four Raiders to go to the 2-4 and four Jets because you were tired of losing. That does not make any sense. Obviously, I think the Jets are a better team than the Raiders and have a better chance at making the playoffs. But do I think the Jets are going to go deep into the playoffs, make a huge run? I don't think so, unless they are truly a Devontae Adams away from being contenders. The funny thing about this is that when the news broke, Aaron Rodgers was on the Pat McAfee show and <laughs> Devontae Adams is already in New York with Aaron Rodgers. So he must have known that this trade was going down like two days ago or last night or I don't know. He was already in New York and now he's now he's a Jet. So as soon as you hear the new, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Well, well, well! <laughs> in all injury concerns with Devontae Adams, who has missed the last few weeks with a hamstring injury, all reports are saying that he's good to go and will play in week seven. Another team in the AFC East made a trade today for a wide receiver in the Buffalo Bills, who made a move for Amari Cooper, making a trade with the Browns. Amari Cooper wasn't really on the market or available for trade, but at the same time, he wasn't. Like, it was kind of an unsaid thing that he was available for trade. And given the fact that Buffalo Bills missed out on Devontae Adams, Amari Cooper is probably the next wide receiver and the only really other wide receiver available for trade who could be a game changer and help a team out. And with the market set, with Devontae Adams getting a third round pick for the Raiders, the Buffalo Bills sent the Cleveland Browns a 2025 third round pick and a 2026 seventh round picks. And the Buffalo Bills got Amari Cooper and a 2025 sixth round pick. So the Buffalo Bills acted quickly after they missed out on Devontae Adams, got another receiver in the room to help Keon Coleman not be the number one guy as a rookie after they let Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis go earlier in the offseason. And I think it's a good thing the Bills made this trade because if Amari Cooper isn't available, what other guys are you making a trade for who can help your team out? DeAndre Hopkins, Deontay Johnson like there's not Cortland Sutton maybe there's not really a lot of guys though that you could trade a third round and a seventh round pick for and get good results out of them and good value and a good reminder that Jahan Dotson was traded for a third round pick the Washington Commanders got a third and two seventh round picks for Jahan Dotson that's more than what the Raiders got for Adams and what the Browns got for Cooper Obviously, the salary thing plays a huge factor for Devontae Adams and the Raiders, but um, holy fleece. And on top of that, the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones, great job. He sent Amari Cooper to the Browns and got a fifth round pick and the Browns just got a third round pick. Great job. And he was on the radio today saying, you think you can do my job better than me or some crap like that. And with Amari Cooper being traded to the Buffalo Bills, the player with the most touchdowns for the Browns this season is safety Rodney McLeod. In our final trade of the day, that's right, we got three trades today, was the Minnesota Vikings trading for running back Cam Akers from the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans got a 2026 six round pick in exchange for Cam Akers and a conditional 2026 seventh round pick. What's funny about this is the Vikings traded for Cam Akers last season and now they're trading for Cam Akers again. 
But to me, this trade makes a lot of sense for the Minnesota Vikings. Aaron Jones, I believe, is a little banged up right now. It makes sense to get a player who's familiar with their system, who's familiar with your coaching and your playbook to get in here and maybe take some reps off of Aaron Jones. Make life easier for Sam Darnold, not rely on him to help you win the games as much. Rely on a running back duo if Aaron Jones does become healthy again. Not a bad idea given the fact the Vikings are undefeated and they want to stay that way. It's a really low risk, high reward type of situation for the Minnesota Vikings. If it doesn't work out, then oh well, Cam Akers doesn't work out. But if it does work out, now you have two good running backs to make life easier for Sam Darnold, a guy who you didn't think was going to be your starting quarterback this season, and you also didn't think you'd be 5-0. So those are all the trades that took place today as I'm currently recording this. I'm hoping, but I'm also not hoping that I wake up and see a trade. Like it's always exciting, but then you get the point. We already have three trades on this random ass Tuesday and the trade deadline isn't really close, but it's approaching kind of thing. I'm excited to see what happens at the trade deadline and what teams are going to be buyers and what teams are going to be sellers. We have Hassan Reddick today. He's officially available to seek a trade after the New York Jets traded for him earlier this off season. Didn't agree to a contract and he's been sitting out and the, and the Jets don't pay players who don't show up and Hassan Reddick isn't showing up. It's a stalemate. They haven't had contact. So Hassan Reddick has also gathered up millions and millions in fines for not showing up. So he's going to be seeking a trade. I don't know who's going to trade for him. They better make sure they have a contract in agreement beforehand, though. Also, Jets wide receiver Mike Williams, who, according to Aaron Rodgers, costed them the game versus the um, Buffalo Bills. He's also reportedly available for trade as well. Coincidentally, maybe the Chargers could use another wide receiver. Mike Williams, maybe he'll fit in. It was a crazy day in the NFL on this random Tuesday in October so crazy that we didn't even talk about the fact that tom brady is now a minority owner of the las vegas raiders i i'm not going to go into that i don't know enough detail or enough shit about that to make a video let alone talk about so we'll, we'll just leave it off out here subscribe to my channel cash sports for more daily nfl content have a good one peace